are going to learn about melody. But first, if you can clap your hands with me, we're gonna sing a hello song. Can you clap your hands like this? Good. This is based off of the scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Very important with music, okay? Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Now it's time to sing hello. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Now it's time to sing hello. Hello, hello, friends. Good morning. Good job. Already clapping to the beat. That's awesome. So melody is the tune of a song. You have the words, which are the lyrics. The melody is the tune. And the melody we're going to study today is based off of a French song that was written a long, long time ago. And then child prodigy Mozart heard it, and he made them into songs. Does that sound familiar? I think that's your favorite song, Victoria. Does this sound familiar? What does it sound like? Give you another hint. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Now you can say you sing Mozart to your kids because you've been singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. <laughs> so can we all sing that song together? Can I see your stars? Now grown-ups, another way to keep the music going and they can be learning at the same time. If they see you, keep the beat. So let's keep the beat with our star hands and we can all sing it together, okay? <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Bravo, that was beautiful. Very good, and you were all on pitch. They have, there's hope for them. You guys sound good. Okay, so we're going to sing that part of the song over and over. Miss Jill is going to come and read us a story about Twinkle Twinkle Little Star because it was first a poem, so there's many verses that we probably don't know. But every time that part comes, we're going to get these really cool stars and we are going to wave them in the air like this, okay? Can I see? Can you put your star up above the world so high? Very good. And this will also work on their listening skills. They'll be anticipating the part that they know, okay? Now let's do story time with Miss Jill. You guys are going to help me with this song and story and poem. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. And you can follow along this little chipmunk or squirrel going through. A chipmunk. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So here it says, twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. That is a up above, above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. So here the chipmunk goes. The chipmunk is having quite an adventure. Quite an adventure. He's in the bird's nest. When the glorious sun is set, when the grass with dew is wet, then you show your little light. Twinkle, twinkle all the night. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Then the traveler in the dark thanks you for your tiny spark. He could not see where to go if you did not twinkle so. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh my goodness, look at this chipmunk. Right on a lily pad, and up pops a. What is that? Big fish. In the dark blue sky, you keep 
often through the trees you peep, for you never shut your eye till the sun is in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. As your bright and tiny spark lights the traveler in the dark, though I know not what you are, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. What a great job. Hey, everybody. Oh. Let's see what crap Very we're going to make today. Hey, you know what? You can make one of these cute little stars at home, helping the kids to be able to keep the beat. So all you need is some paper cut out in a star shape. You can use either a chopstick, a dowel, if you happen to have that fancy tool, or even a straw. And all you need, a couple stars, your straw. You can glue or staple them. And then, glitter glue, and you're good to go. Sparkly and fun. Wow, that was a great craft. Now you guys can try it at home. Let's sing that melody one more time. Because we want them to really hear it over and over again. Repetition is key for them. So maybe you can sing it with me on a neutral syllable like Lee. Can you sing with me, girls? Lee, 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 Very good. Now that reminds me of another song. Do you know what does a sheep say? Ba, ba. Very good. So another song with the same melody is ba ba black sheep. Let's see. Let's see. Let's listen to it. It might sound the same. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Very good. Twinkle, it sounds yeah, like twinkle, sounds little star. Good. Very good. Now, if you do this at home, do twinkle, twinkle, and then follow it up with ba, ba, black sheep, and they'll start to recognize that. It's very good for their concentration. That's the next one. Very nice. <laughs> Let's get our wool, wool. and we're going to move to the music wool. now, okay? Everyone wool. needs a piece. And we're going to move to the music to work on your coordination, OK? All right, everyone, let's get up and dance. And what we're doing this time is every phrase we're going to do something different, OK? So for the first phrase, we're going to march. You can hold your scarves, your wool in your hands, and we're going to march. Can you show me how you march to the beat? Very good. Yeah, stand on up. Ba, ba, black sheep. Have you any wool? Now, can you show me how to say yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Next phrase, we're going to raise our scarves up and down to the beat. Good. So they can see the beat as we sing the beat. Very good. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who this lives so down fun. the lane. Let's go back to marching. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Very good. You guys follow along very well. Now let's do that again. Remember, first, we're going to march the first phrase, ba, ba, black sheep, and then we're going to say yes. Can you show me how to say yes? Very good. We're working on your language development as well. Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. And then we'll keep the beat. Remember, good practice makes perfect. Very good. Move your scarves up and down. Very nice. For one for the master and one for the dame. And then when you hear ba again, that's your cue to start marching. Ba, ba, black sheep. Good. And then we'll say yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. I think we're ready. Are you ready? Let's stand up and march. Let's get ready. One, two, three. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, 
sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Bravo, very good. Let's do it one more time. Third time's a charm. First time they're kind of watching us. Second time they're getting into it. So now this will be the big final performance, okay? Last time, marching first. Ready? Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags Oh, very good. Before we get our microphones, we're going to sing it one more time. Get that melody stuck in your head. You ready? Let's sing it on Lee again. Lee, 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 Lee. Very good. And like Christina mentioned, she recognized it sounded like ABCs. So she heard the melody and it reminded her of a song. So let's get our microphones and now we're going to sing our ABCs together, okay? Are you guys ready to sing? All right, are you ready to sing your ABCs? Yeah? Let's sing our ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Very nice. That was beautiful. Now I want you to see the letters as we sing them. So Ms. Jill is going to share us a story oh, well, with the ABCs. Okay, okay, let's see. <laughs> Come on, this matches my shirt anyway. Good. So let's sing our ABCs. And every time we see the letter, so we we're going to sing them. the melody, okay? Okay, and this, so this is also like another sort of lesson that any book can be sung, even if it's as simple as an ABC book. And this is an ABC book that shows some really cool pictures, too. So we have A, A B, B, C, D, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. slower so you can really hear the melody okay very nice all right one more time let's sing it on Lee okay so we can really get Thank that melody you. in your head and you'll be singing it all day hear your pitch Lee 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 Very 
good. Thank you so much for helping me learn about melody. And now, I promise you, if you do it at home, over and over, follow one with the other, they'll start to recognize that, okay? They'll recognize the melody. They'll be concentrating and working on some really good listening skills. So can you clap your hands with me? We're going to sing that major scale again and sing goodbye now. Very good. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Now it's time to say goodbye. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Now it's time to sing goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, friends. Bravo. Thank you. Beautiful singing.